I'm here at Rolls-Royce with Johan Lundgren from EasyJet. Johan, tell us about EasyJet's involvement in H20. Yes, it's something that we, we're extraordinarily excited about as well. I mean, clearly we have been on to this journey about zero emissions technology for quite a long time. And now with Rolls-Royce, we have a partner who is uh, as passionate as we are about the prospect of decarbonization. And I think uh, hydrogen in particular is one of the most promising technologies that is out there because it's a well-known technology. Um, it uh, doesn't emit any carbon emissions when in use and it also reduces uh, other parts of the emissions that other technologies doesn't necessarily do. And what I do like about this one in particular is that, that it, it's a very practical thing where we're kicking off immediately with testing that hopefully can lead to us at some point in time, you know, produce an engine uh, that, uh, that could benefit not only EasyJet but the whole of the industry to decarbonize. And what are EasyJet's plans for testing this? So we're working together with Rolls-Royce. They are the expertise when it comes to the actually, you know, the engine itself, the liquid storage and, 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 and all of that. But what we are bringing into this and contributing is their uh, operational skill set on what it would take for a commercial airline to, to use the equipment. It's no point of having OEMs and manufacturers doing something on their own and then suddenly, you know, you find out when you're going to sell it to the customers that it's not fit for purpose. So that's the type of contribution that we will be doing. And we hope to be doing it, you know, successfully and see the milestones being achieved as we go along with this. And how inspired are you by the UN-backed uh, Race to Zero plan? Yes, no, I'm, I'm very inspired about that. I, I've been very supportive of this as well. Uh, you know, EasyJet uh, ourselves is going to, you know, come out with our own roadmap to net zero here later in the in the year. Um, and uh, you know, I think that what is in, important about the plan that the UK government have now set out, which I do welcome, and I think it is a good document, is as well that we continue to renew the different technologies that is in there, whether that is DAX, whether that is sustainable aviation fuel, zero emission technologies, as an example as well. But I do really uh, appreciate the government's uh, first the fact that we have now publicized this and the consultation they've done with the industry because it's truly in many cases leading in the world. Mm -hmm.